Welcome to Django in Minutes. Today we'll build and deploy a starter Django app in under five minutes. Most web apps have a common initial configuration, things like user authentication, basic styling so the app is reasonably presentable, a Postgres database, and there's no reason to spend hours doing the exact same configuration over and over every time you want to create a new Django project. So here's the GitHub repo here, Django starter project. The link is in the description to the video. Um, following along with this repo will enable you to set up a standard development environment, web app, and deploy to Heroku in less than five minutes and with fewer than 10 lines of code. That's because Docker makes this so easy to do. Um, this app will have you know, some pretty standard functionality. We'll have a separate video on Docker in the future, but this one should be enough for you to follow along here. Um, before following along with this video though, you need to make sure that you have Git, Docker, Docker Compose, Heroku CLI, and Virtual EMV installed on your local machine. Um, this shouldn't be too hard to do, just follow these links. First thing we have to do here is set up a virtual environment. I'm just going to do that by copying these commands. Um, and that's pretty standard for most, uh, most projects in Python. Um, and then what we'll want to do is actually clone the, the starter project repo. So copy and paste this link here. It's going to clone. Uh, you can see it creates this new folder in here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is CD into the folder. Uh, so you can see all the files in here. Um, what we want to do is, is, is commit this to our own new repo. So uh, we need to change the, the remote here. So I'm going to copy that. But I've created this new app. Um, my starter app, you can do that by kind of going up there and creating a new repo. And I'm just going to copy and paste this remote link because this is where I want to, um, you know, do my project moving forward. Okay, so I've reset the remote. Now it's going to push to this repository. So uh, what I, well, what I want to do probably is, uh, let's see if there anything, is there anything to commit? nothing to commit. So we can just actually git push origin thing. So I've now just pushed this up to my GitHub repository. Uh, okay, so if you refresh this here, you'll see that you've actually now just pushed the, uh, the repository to your own, own application. Um, next, I'm going to build the Docker container. Okay, great. So now that it's running, there's one more thing we need to do before we actually have our application running in uh, our local, envir uh, local environment. So uh, in a new terminal window. And then what I'll do is actually I need to populate the database. So make sure you CD back into the directory um, and now run the command. We have our you know, app up in our local environment. Um, you can see that by going to localhost 8000. So I'm just going to show you, you know, signing up for an account to demonstrate the functionality. Um, and when we get in there, we're going to have a nice uh, dashboard um, template that looks uh, looks pretty good because we use Bootstrap. And um, um, let's go back to this repo. And now we're going to deploy it to Heroku. So uh, all we have to do now is kind of go back into our uh, Terminal here. We're going to create our Heroku app. There we go. We created our Heroku app. Uh, now we want to add our Postgres database. Okay, we've added our, our database. We need to set a uh, secret key. I'm going to just copy and paste one in here, but you can uh, generate your own following the documentation. All right, it's going to update the secret key in Heroku. OK, now I want to push to Heroku. Uh, once it's pushed up there, you just type Heroku open to see uh, see the application in Heroku, and you've deployed successfully. That's, uh, that's it. So thanks for watching Django in minutes.